Hello Android users, today I'd like to do a review and tutorial for Cool Tool System Stat. It's a real-time monitoring program for your Android device. So it'll show you what's going on in the background while you do stuff in the foreground. It's a free application. You can download it here from the Google Play Store, but there's a paid version without advertisements and that's fully themable. I've got it already running here. I'm going to run you through the features and options it has, and then we're going to do a few tests, a few things that you can try at home yourself. So let's check it out. Here you can see I've already got it running. By default, it'll be off like that. You'll click Show Panel to bring it up, and it'll start as a tiny little window up here, but I need it to be very large for the purpose of this demonstration. You'll grab this little widget here, and you'll be able to toggle it around the screen. This will persist across any application you start, so you'll want to put it in a good spot for whatever you're doing at the time. You can see a few statistics here. This bar going across the top here, this is the draw chart. There's a few different options to have whatever you like there going across. You can monitor it in real time over anything else. You can change the text color, the background color, the update interval. I have it as frequently as possible to check for the updates. A uh, number of rows is maxed out for me, so it'll be extra large. And the mobile Wi-Fi info, which is both on. Next up, the labels. Now this is everything you see here in the text here. Now there's quite a few options here. There's a lot of neat kind of things you can check out, but I've got a few that I use most often, so we're going to concentrate on those today. Now I have the most resource intensive program here at the bottom here, so I can see what's happening. I want to know what's running in the background while I'm doing different things. Next up we have the battery drain. Now the battery drain is very useful to know. You can actually turn off the screen let it go into sleep mode, turn it back on and see how much battery is draining while it's asleep. So that's a good thing to check out yourself. The battery temperature is good to know, especially if you're overclocking or playing games. It's always something you want to keep track of. The available memory, this shows you how much memory is left on the device while you're running applications. The CPU frequency, which goes up and down here, you can see you can change it yourself. I've got it overclocked a little actually, and so I want to monitor it a little more closely. Now I've also got the CPU usage, which goes up in a percentage. Next up, the gauges. The gauges are these graphs that go up and down here on the left hand side. Now there's quite a few options for the gauges. You can add a lot on, but it can get a little cluttered when you add on too many. So I'm going to concentrate on just a few of them. Now I have the battery temperature here one, and you can see it corresponds with this gauge here. If you get into the red, obviously that would be bad. The RAM gauge, the memory gauge, so I can see how much of the memory is used up. Uh, the CPU frequency, which keeps spiking up and down here, and the CPU usage. Now, there's a little sliver here, which is blank, which means I'm only using one core. It'll fill up with both when I start using both cores. Next up, the sliders. Now, I've uh, kind of maxed most of these out because I want to make it as big as possible, and you can kind of change how visible or not visible the text is. There you go. So we'll leave it a little more clear for the purpose of this one. Next up, the advanced features. Now there's some interesting stuff in here. Uh, now I want to mention by default the multi-core CPU gauge was off. So I was only seeing one core like that. If you have a multi-core device, it's an HP touchpad, and it has dual core, so you want to enable that and see what's happening. Good to know, and we're going to stress out our system and see how this reacts, because most of the time when you're not doing too much, it'll just use a single core. Uh, a few other options here, but nothing really uh, we need to worry about at the moment for the purpose of our testing. And it also has a blacklisting option. So when you see stuff popping up that you don't like, you can blacklist it. It's not going to work in that. You can turn stuff off and on. Oh, and now the last feature is the logging. But this is disabled. If you purchase the pro version, you'll be able to use the logging. But that's disabled in the free version, and which is what I'm using right now. Okay, let's go over some common uses and things you can check out yourself. Here in the background, you can see I'm just using like a regular, any old wallpaper. Now what a lot of people don't realize is when you use those live wallpapers, it actually uses a lot of uh, CPU usage, it drains the battery quite a bit. So we're going to throw one on and see what happens. We've got some nice ones. Nice live wallpapers for you. Uh, oh, I like this one. Planetscapes one, very nice. And it looks really awesome and it moves around with my background and everything like that. And I love to use it, but the thing is it does kind of start increasing the battery drain, like the CPU usage has gone up. Yeah, you can see we're at like 40, going up to 50%. The CPU frequency was staying a little higher. 
So yeah, basically, yeah, now it's catching up now with the battery drain. So you can see as you start a live wallpaper, uh, you really jump up there in terms of battery drain. There's a lot of different things we can test out like this. How about a little video playback? That's a good thing to test out. How about a clip of Ugly Americans? Really funny show. People are driven by survival. We'll do anything we can to get by. Only when we feel safe do we start considering the things we want. Suck, girls. <laughs> this is what happens when you sell your soul to be a pop star without getting parental consent. Ugly Americans. No, running a video wasn't too bad. It didn't get too intensive there on the CPU. Let's try another common usage, uh, which is web browsing. A lot of people don't realize how intensive the web browsing can be, but you can see as soon as I start up web browsing, I get more dual core usage. Let's start opening some windows here. So, you know, people like to have a lot of tabs open on a PC, that sort of thing. You like to do it on your tablet too, but uh, you don't really always realize how intensive it can be. So let's open up a bunch here and see what happens. <laughs> So yeah, pretty intensive. Get a lot of dual core CPU action. The battery drain's reasonable. Oh, well there it's spiked up to 868, which is about the highest we've seen so far. So let's open another window and keep going. You can see our available memory has gone down significantly. We only we have less than 256 megs of memory left. CPU frequency is high and it's staying uh, spiking constantly. See our graph here. And it is the most resource intensive program, of course. So that's a little thing you can check out if you're ever wondering why you're draining so much battery, but I like to take it one step further. Let's start playing a little game. Now everything kind of accumulates when you run an uh, Android operating system, so it's all kind of building up in the background and draining a little more. There's a little Grand Theft Auto 3, a very resource intensive game. As you can see, I'm down to only 100 megs of memory left. My CPU frequency, dual core, both cores going like really hardcore. And off the cliff. There you have it. Very intensive. Now, when you're done playing, sometimes you don't realize, like you exit out of something, and everything's still running. There's a lot of drainage going on. Uh, let me refresh this. This is the Go uh, Task Manager widget. You can see I've only got 100 megs of memory left. Like really draining good. Now, when you exit out of stuff. This is a good program to let you know what's going on, and you're going to clear some of that stuff out. So open it up there. You see where I clicked here? Bring it up. Clear it out. You can also use a widget like this. Now I'm going to refresh it, and you can see a lot of the stuff has been cleared out. My live wallpaper is still running and draining in the background as well. But it's really handy just to know, be able to test stuff out, be able to see what's running. Especially game applications like to persist in the background. So even if you've exited them, they still usually persist a little, like Grand Theft Auto. 
It's a really good, helpful, useful application. Very handy to have, and it's free. I'd highly recommend it to anyone who wants to know a little more about their system, who wants to test out, say, an un untested experimental ROM, like I'm running a JC Solin Cyanogen Mod 10 ROM on the HP touchpad. Now, this is an experimental ROM, and I'm doing things like running the latest 4.2 Android GFs package. Let's test out some of that. So say you want to do something experimental, you want to know how that runs, test it out like this. Let's do a little street view. That's the kind of the most intensive thing we can do, I think. A little street view there. Yeah, it's quite intensive there. Look at the dual core usage. A little downtown. Warp speed. Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. That's quite spiffy. Awesome. Oh, but look at the look at the battery drain go up while we use this application. We cleared everything out well before we even started it up. So it's a pretty intensive app to use. Very good to know. Good to test out your device. Good to see what's draining your device. Another little tip is all these little widgets, they look great, but they also drain the battery quite a bit. You kill some of them, it'll clear it out a little. Let's go check out the new play music. It's pretty nice. It's got all these little previews. You can slide through it. It does use a little bit of CPU usage. You can see it's spiking. Really not too bad. Very comparable to the music player I was already using. Again, when you exit out of stuff, you get a little build up of what you've been doing in the background. Clear it up. A very handy tip to know. I'd recommend going and downloading Cool Tool System Stats and testing it out for yourself. It's a fun application. You can get it right here in the Google Play Store. Please subscribe to see more helpful videos, reviews, tutorials, and things like this in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone.